Hello, I am Panos Kodzathanasis, and this is ASEAN Movie Pulse Interviews. Today I'm here with Mr. Banmei Takahashi, whose film Door is screening at Pifan. Hello, how are you, Mr. Takahashi? So today is a very rainy day in, in Puchon, but uh, director Takashi is very happy to, to be here at the festival, even though he can only be here for uh, a few days. <laughs> okay, so first question, how does it feel watching Door after all these years? あの、結構どう、どう今、あの、撮ったのはもう80年代になりますが、今、え、またはい。うん、分からなくて so first of all, the, the film is is uh, 35 years old now, but basically for 30 years, it was unclear where the negatives were and mm -hmm. where the film, uh, even the film print even is. So uh in, in that sense it's a really um happy event to be able to have access to the film now それがあの、ま、日本でも、え、35年ぶりに上映されて、え、今日今、うん、韓国に来て、え、海外の方にも、うん、見ていただける。それも、主演女優の、まあ、奥さんですけども、ご一緒に来られて、え、それも含めてやっぱりすごく奇跡的なことだと思っています。So, uh, the fact that the film can now be shown in Japan but also uh abroad at a film festival like this after 35 years um and in uh, accompaniment of, of course, the main actress, uh, uh, Takashi Keiko uh, san, um, is a really miraculous uh, thing for him. Mm -hmm. But uh, does he find that he would change some things in the movie as he watches it now? <laughs><笑> それは常にあって、あの、どの作品でもね、え、もう一度見ると、うん、まあ、あ、それは良かった、こうすれば良かったということは、ま、必ずありますね。それと、この作品に関してはやっぱり 若かったなっていうのと、撮り方がね、若かったなと、それはつまり、やっぱり、え、な、なんとか、え、しなければいけないという思いが前のめりになっていた。うん。うん。そんな気がまずしてます。なるほど。え、so yes, uh, for practically any film that of his that he watches again, he thinks about what he could have done. <laughs> differently and if he watches uh door today he kind of thinks wow that's a very i i was very young when i shot this and there are things you would do differently uh now even though there were some affordances at the time that made it necessary to shoot it in certain ways and so on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and uh, he has been in the industry for uh, many years so uh, what are the most significant changes he has witnessed both in the industry and also in himself as a director. あの、2つの質問だと思いますが、あの、もうあの、
高橋さんはキャ,キャリアがあの長いですが、うん、あの振り返ると映画、日本の映画産業がどういうふうに変わったか、うん、そしてあの自分がその中で監督としてどういうふうに変わってきたか、うんうん、あの自分を含めて我々はちょうどその日本の,あの映画撮影所システムというものが、うんえー、ほぼなくなったあ時代に、えーまあ、キャリアをスタートしたところがあって、うんえー、その分そのお、簡単に言うとお金を出す人と、えー、作りたい人、との、その、関係性が、う,んあえー、うまくいく場合と、逆にこう対立して、ぎくしゃくしてしまう,、うんうん、うような局面も結構あったんですね。うん、けど、その中でやっぱりその、えー、作家としての、うん、作り手としての、うん教授というか、誇りというか、うんうん、は、うん、持ち続けたいという、うん、思いを、うん、やはりいかにキープするか、うんうんうん、っていうことに、えー、常に、えーえー、不審した、苦労した、あ<笑>という,うことの中に、今ここまでこう年を取ると、やっぱりその、新しい人、若手と言いますかね、の、うん、育成という責任もやっぱりあるんだろうな。そのために、まあ、この世界で生かされてるんだろうなという思いが今強いです。うん。So, uh, Director Takahashi began his career at the time when the studio system had, was just in decline or bas basically over. Um, so, uh, that's a moment when there was a special kind of tension between those financing films and those trying to make films.、Mm. Uh, and that was often a kind of a, a painful battle.、Um, but it also helped shape him in a, in a way that made him define what, what he wants to do and what, what it means to be.、Uh, Uh, a director to be an author of your film.、Mm -hmm. um, now,、uh, in, looking back on, on his career or at this stage in his career, he feels like、um, a lot of his responsibility is actually about、uh, training a new generation of filmmakers and giving、uh, young, younger filmmakers opportunities to, to find their way in the film industry.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, can he tell us a bit about his experience in shooting pink films, which is how he started his career? あの、ピンク映画、はい、が多分あのキャリアの出発点、はいはい uh, ですが、あのその時代についてちょっと話していただけますか、うん、それは自分にとってどういう意味を持ってたか。うんはいうん、ある約束ごと、つまりそれは、その、えー、男女間の、うん、そうしたあの、うん、セクシャルなシーンを、うん、その映画の中に、えー、入っていれば<笑>、えー、あとはとても、うん、ストーリー展開を含めて、えー、自由な、うんえー、発想で、えー、監督できたと。また、そうあらねばならない、えー、と思っていたので、うんうんえー、より体質的には合っていたし、えー、やっぱり金銭的にも含めてね、えー、すごい条件の悪い、うんえー、中で、えー、撮っていた分、うんつまりそれは自分はその育ちが悪いというね言い方をしてますけども、そのことによって
、えーえー、いろんな困難がしょっちゅう起こるんですけども、えー、それをこう、クリアしていける、うんうん、力が、えー、とってもついたので、えー、まあ、何が来ても恐れない。<笑>うんそれがとっても今の,あの力になってるんだなっていうには実感しますね。うんはい、so,、uh, Pink Film、um, was、uh, a type of film that had a specific kind of situation in that as long as you had a basic story that touched upon male female relations、um, and contained a certain amount of, of sexual scenes. You had a lot of freedom in terms of how to develop the narrative and how to, how to you know, what kind of story you wanted to, to tell.、Um, so,、uh, despite there being many, many limitations and、uh, kind of restrictions in terms of the overall production conditions and the financial, the low budget financial conditions,、um, and that being As he was kind of joking, a kind of、uh, a, a, a bad upbringing, so to speak, in terms of his, his larger career, that, that kind of struggle actually、um, and overcoming a lot of those challenges in the, in the filmmaking process really gave him,、uh, trained him, and gave him a lot of energy、uh, and strength for,、uh, for later on. Um, to, to be able to persevere throughout his career. So it was, it was actually a very important phase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And、um, are there any collaborators that stand out for him throughout the years? Okay, I guess his wife is one, but if there are any more. So not just in Pink Film, but generally. In general, yes, yes. Ano, ma, mo chino, ano, oksan to. 映画を家でいろあの撮ったのでとても大事なあのまあ,あなんていうかあ、えー、あの仕事の相手だと思いますがあのそれ以外も何かあの全部のキャリアを振り返るとあこの人と一緒に仕事をしたのは非常にあの大切な経験だったとかそういうそれが大切な関係だったとか。そういうのもあるんでしょう。うん、それはあの、えー、誰でもあることだと思うんですけど、うん、それがあの、えー、俳優さんだったり、うんうんえー、スタッフだったり、うんえー、でしょうけども、そのそうした出会いによって、えー、刺激をこう受け合うというのか、あの日本だとそれが化学反応みたいな言葉で、ねうんうんうん、言ったりしますけれども、あの、それがやっぱりあの、映画をやっていく上での、まあ、最大の魅力だと思いますね。うん、で,で、その時にこう、うん、関係性がはっきりしてくる。うんうん、端的に言うと、まあ、好きだとか、嫌いだとかね。うんうん、でも、まあ、その嫌いだと思う人はほぼいなくて、えー、たくさんの人と長くそういう関係を、えー、続けられて、今現在いるんでね。うんうんうん、うんそれがやっぱり自分の財産になってると思いますね。<笑>そういう、あのー、はっきりされてないのが人ですかそれともずっとなんかはっきり、あ、この人好き、この人嫌い。うん。そういう人と,とずっと仕事ができたということ。うん。嫌いな人はもうしないから、ね。ああ、まあ、そうですね。<笑>はい。So,、uh, of course, there are many, many important collaborators、uh, for him、uh, over the span of the, his you know, decades long career. Um, be it actors or be it staff or, or you know, from, from any part of the production process.、Um, and、uh, actually, for him, the kind of chemical reaction you have when you're working with people 
uh, and it what it produces is one of the most attractive things about filmmaking. Um, so, but overall, uh, just finding the right people and having a clearly defined relationship in terms of, okay, this is someone I can really work with. This is someone I don't like and don't want to work with again. Um, but finding the people that he can work with and has worked with over uh, a long, long period of time, that's um, probably his greatest asset in terms of of his, his larger career trajectory. Okay, okay. And uh, regarding the specific film, uh, Door, uh, why did he decide to focus so much on the door? It is a, a sense that it's a protagonist of the film, the door. And also, when he was shooting the film, was he searching for a specific kind of door? Ah, uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. が中心。つまり、あの、え、ま、中心になって、ま、集約みたいなもんですよね。あの、その映画の中でドアというま、象徴。あの、象徴の意味、うん。ま、どういう意味だったのか。そしてあの、映画を準備した時に特別なドアと
within a victim, there is also kind of an element of, or it can be an element of a perpetrator. And in the perpetrator, that can there can be a kind of element of being a victim. And to kind of um, show the 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 way there is a, a blurry line between that those two uh, in in just a human uh, psychology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, in the film, there are a couple of uh, very violent scenes, particularly the one uh, in the bathroom, let's say. And in that scene, the protagonists are also his wife and the little kid. So was it strange having these actors play in that scene? And in general, how did he approach the violent scenes in the movie? あの、これもまた多分 が印象的なんですが、え、まずはまあ、そういう暴力というテーマは当時はどう思いましたか。それは映画の中でどういう役割を持ってたか。うん。と、そしてあの、場面としてはまあ、自分の奥さんが主役で、その被害者の、え、役として取るのはどういう、それ不思議というか、だったのか、それにどういう風にアプローチをしたかという。あの、日本にはその、え、エイリンという映画倫理来て、こう、で、その作品を除着する期間があるんですけれども、うん、その暴力的な部分もチェックされるわけですよね。はい。え、ですからそれをこう限界まで、うん。え、表現したいと、どうせやるな。うん、うん。という意味で、まあ、え、トライしました。うん、うん。で、特にその最後のこう、首を
seeing the film now that he can he can sense how how he was young at the time and how his attitude was one of maybe violence being a, just a part of of life as well um though now he will use violence in film as to to as a you know tool for filmic expression but certainly not anymore in a way that seems um to endorse or seems to 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 pr propose that violence is in any way justifiable or, or positive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay で、もう うん、けども、そこでその感情を自分自身があんまり引きずらないようにするためにえ、自分はもう家に帰らないで。ああ。あの、撮影中。撮影中の近所に、まあ、ホテルを取って、え、撮影期間中はずっと、え、別居してました。
のイメージだったのでしょうか。うんはい、で、あのそれはそうでしたら、今は、うん、どうでしょうか。はいはいはい、比較的。はい、あのー、<笑>さっきも、あの、マンションという言葉を、うんうんうん、出しましたけども、はい、やはり、あの、それが、あの、非常に、えー、生活形態としてね、うん、そのマンション暮らしというものが、はい、あの、一般的になってきて、えー、そういった意味では、その、えー、昔あった、その、隣組制度みたいなね、うんうんえー、ご近所で、助け合うという、うん、そういうものがこう非常に希薄く薄くなってきた、うんうん、ことはその映画の中で、えー、表現したかったんですね。うんうん、<笑>で現在はどうかというとやはりその、うん、これは日本人だけではないのかもしれないけれども。うんある大きなその悲劇といいますか、うん、事件を通して、やはりその、助け合うことの大切さがまた芽生えるんですね、うんうん、日本人ってね。特に,特にあの東日本大震災の後に、うん、やはりそういう意識が高まったと思いますね。うん、で、その延長で、えーまあ、東京オリンピックのうん、うん。頃に、えー、非常に言葉として流行ったんですけど、うん、思いやりと、うん。うん。ようなことにもつながって、えー、来た気がします。うん。うん。うん。けれども、人は時間が経つと、そういうことを忘れてしまう。うん。うん。そういう意味では、今は、そうしたその、またその日本人のそういう、あの、思いやりというかね、うん、相手のことをやっぱり大切に思う。うん、そうしたものが、また今薄れて、薄れてきてんではないかなという、うんうんうん、ふうに思います。So,、um, maybe it's important to explain the, the kind of setting of the film, which is in what in Japan is called a manshon. Which is kind of an upscale, upper middle class, upper, upper class kind of apartment building, which became very common um, uh, and was already very common in the 1980s. And that generally led to a, a fading away of what had once been, been a kind of、um, situation where people had a, had a neighborly community and、mm -hmm. everyone knew each other in terms of who lived next door and helped each other out. Uh, and just the different kind of living situation, the different architecture and so on, led to that、um, kind of slowly disappearing. And that's something he wanted to express,、uh, certainly wanted to express in the film,、um, that that had changed society quite a bit.、Um, now, comparing that to the current situation,、um, there, there are moments when that kind of Uh, spirit of wanting to help return, and the, 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 the triple disasters in 2011 were a time like that when many people、um, felt strong empathy. And there's a, a, a Japanese word he mentioned called omoyari,、um, and、uh, felt a strong need to help those who were in, in trouble.、Uh, and kind of as an extension of that,、um, that, that word also、uh, became quite popular. Uh, around the time of the Olympics,、mm -hmm. the, the recent Olympics.、Um, but again, these are things that then kind of bloom, but then start to slowly fade away、uh, as, as time progresses and people start forgetting about、um, what's going on. And, and these, as the larger, these large events kind of slip into the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But,、uh... What would he do if he was in that situation, like living next door to an apartment that something like what happens in the movie happened? Well, 
隣の家で、うん、あの誰かが叫んだり、叩いたり、まあ、入,入ろうとしたら、うん、あの自分でどういう行動をするかっていうか。あの、私結構おせっかいなので、うん、とかそういう何かあ、事件とか、そういうトラブルに、えー、巻き込まれることが、好きではないけれども、うん、それがなんか今後の役に立つ、もっと言えば映画を撮るときの何かこう、うん、その経験が生かされるはずだという、うんうん、何かが発見できんじゃないかという、うん、そういう興味の方が先に立ってつい、ちょっかい出してしまうんじゃないかと思いますね。Um, so, actually, it's not as if he likes to、um, get mixed up in trouble、mm-hmm. or anything.、Um, but actually,、uh, he, he often feels about difficult situations that、um, engaging in them. Leads him to discover things and understand things, and that that can also be、uh, something that that can be used as life experience later on for for filmmaking. So he would he would probably get mixed up and try to intervene or in、mm-hmm. some way be involved in, in a situation. Mm-hmm. Okay.、Uh, two of the main comments, let's say, of the film for me is like. The stalker kind of、uh, functions as a metaphor for capitalism. Like capitalism was essentially attacking people, let's say in quotes, at the, at the time, which the stalker represents that. And the second is that、uh, the fathers in the family at the time,、uh, because they worked so much, they, they were essentially absent. They wouldn't take care of the family. And does he think that、uh, these concepts still apply today in Japan? あの、彼の映画についての解釈なんですが、うんうん、そのストーカー、あの攻撃する人は、うん、あの、資本主義の象徴ではないかという、うん、し資本主義も人を攻撃する。うんうんうんえー、家に入る、あの、すごい、あの、人の空間にまで入って暴力的な、うんうんえーえー、行動を示す。うんと、もう一つは、うん、えっ、ー、と、日本の、まあ、社会の構造の中で、うん、結局、あの、家族の中で、そのお父さんがずっと仕事、はい、お父さん役の、まあ、いつも、はい、あの仕事にいて、うん、基本的に家にいない、うんうん、つまり、あの、えー、いない存在。えーえーではないかという解釈なんですけど、うんうんうん、そ,その解釈に対してどう思いますか、うんえー、その資本主義の、うん、象徴ということだったんですけれども、まあ、確かにそうかもしれないけれども、むしろその資本主義の象徴の手先というのかな。うんそれを手先,手先っていうのは、まあ、古文というのか、えー、使用人というのか、うん、利用されている、あなるほどね、資本主義の親玉に、はい、あの使用、利用されている、うんうんうん、そういうあのキャラクターであるという思いではありました。うんうん、だから彼がそのうん、そうした、えー、権力みたいなのを持っているわけではなく、うんうん、<笑>ドアを越えて、越えたときに、初めてその、権力者のような、うんえー、それは資本主義者と置き換えてもいいんですけども、うんうんうんうん、に変貌してしまうように見えれば、いいかなという思いはありました。うん、で
その旦那さんの問題も言っていいですか、うん、はい。やはりまだあの当時は、あのー、まだまだ、えー、男は、外に出て、うんうんえー、お金を稼ぎ、うんうん、それを、うん、い家に、まあ、家族に、えーね、運んでくることが、最大の使命だという解釈が日本の男性にはまだあった時代だと思います。うんうんうん、だそういう意味ではその、そういうことの象徴として、ああいう、うん、もうは、働くお父さんという形で描きました。そう、いや、basically, he, he can see、uh, how you came to that. Uh, interpretation. Um, so、uh, <clears throat> maybe from his point of view, rather than、um, the, the, the stalker figure being a symbol of capitalism,、um, it's rather someone who's being used by capitalism, who's、mm. instrumental by capitalism, and、uh, who himself is not necessarily, doesn't, doesn't in terms of his social position, he's not someone who holds power. Um, but by trying to break in and、uh, becoming the kind of aggressor,、um, he's in some way trying to assume a position of power that he doesn't usually have.、Um, now,、uh, in terms of the, the question of the absent father, yes, that's definitely, especially at that time in the 1980s, there was still a very strong kind of template. Social template in which the father goes to work and makes money、um, in a kind of nuclear family and、uh, has to work long hours and is, is basically not a part of the social life of, of the family a whole lot. And that definitely is something that was at work、um, in the film, though、uh, that's maybe a little bit different、um, today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And、uh, what is his opinion on the Japanese movie industry at the moment, today?、Um, opinion in terms of. The state, let's、okay. say, of the Japanese movie industry. Sure. Genzai no ega, Nihon no ega sangyo, nitsuit, nanka kanga ega areba, to you. <笑>まあ、とても難しい質問なんですけども、あの、やはり、あの、自分は日本映画監督協会という、うんうん、ところに所属している一人で、えー、その協会が目指しているものは、えー、まあ、表現の自由、第一にね。でもう一歩の第一に、えー、著作権の確立と、うん、いうことを旗印にしています。うん、でその今あ、著作権が、えー、監督にはない状態が何年も続いています。うんうん、それはなかなか破ることの難しい、すごい厚い壁だと思いますけれども、うんうん、やっぱりその旗を下ろすことはできないので、うんえーうんうん、映画というものを大事にし,、まあ、しつつですよ、うん、その今、著作権を持っている人たちとは、やっぱり、えー、死ぬまで、うんうん、あの話し合いを、要請を。続けていきたいと思っています。うんうん、そうすると、その、で、著作権なんで大事かっていうことの一つに、うんえー、著作権が作り手側にあるということによって、もっと多くの優秀な人材、うんうんうん、人が、えー、この映画業界に来てくれるんじゃないかなという。うんうう
so that's a huge question mm -hmm. um but maybe to to address it from a specific vantage point so uh um director takahashi is a member of the directors guild of japan um where he also has several roles and um for the directors guild there are two things that are uh fundamentally important and one is to secure freedom of expression um so that everyone can uh, has the, the the largest degree of freedom they can have um, for expressing what they want to express through film. Um, and the other is to fight for uh, directors receiving copyright for their films, mm. which um, uh, for a long time now, copyright goes has gone to producers and not to the directors. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has been in place for such a long time. It's very, it's going to be very difficult to change that. But um, he doesn't want to stop waving that flag and fighting that fight um, because it's an important fight. And um, it's important for uh, the future of the film industry for, for several reasons. But one really important one is that um, providing copyright to directors would also mean that uh, many more uh, very talented people would um, be drawn to working in the film industry uh, and not just because they wouldn't just be kind of workers for hire, but would actually have stakes in what mm -hmm. they, they create. Mm -hmm. okay. So in that sense, for also for, for the future of who works in the film industry, that, that's a really important uh, issue. Mm -hmm. And the uh, last question, I guess, uh, is he working on anything new, any new projects coming up? I'm sorry, I also wanted to ask in the same uh, path of questioning, uh, if, he, if there are also plans to uh, Re-release door number two, the sequel to this movie. Ah, uh, yeah, but the second one is still there, right? Because, ah, no, uh, so he he just um, mentioned yes, he has many projects in the works. Actually. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, no, what? Talk about projects. Talk about it. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, no. Well, one thing is, eh. 20、え、2025年に、え、ま、戦後80年という節目を迎えるんですけれども、あの、ま、日本はそういうのを好きなんですけどね、あの、戦後何年というのはね。うん。その、え、戦後の、え、日本でこう物資が え、なかなか思うようにはい。そこを舞台にしたその戦争を通した、通してえ、こう別れた人間のその<笑> メイトアンアカデサプラサ。うん。うん。あ、をテーマにしているその映画を今え、企画準備しています。んです。で、今日ちょうどあのその企画書のメールが届きました。that uh, just received an email with the kind mm. of outline for the project it is one that's connected to the upcoming uh, 80th anniversary of the end of the Second World War, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which, as he mentions, in, in Japan, people like <clears throat> anniversaries and to mm. use them as kind of an opportunity for remembrance. So in, in that context, um, this is a project that would focus on uh, kind of the black markets in the, that sprung up in the uh, directly 
uh, after the end of the war, where people were dealing with um, kind of in a, in a legal gray zone, selling and uh, trading all kinds of goods uh, that weren't available on the official uh, kind of th through official channels. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was an important lifeline for many people. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a complicated uh, space full of hope and, and many um, uh, unpleasant and dark goings-ons as well. So that complication, that complicated space is something that interests him uh, and something he would want, he wants to, he, he would like to, to realize as a project. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, no, so I'll ask your question about the, yeah, the really, uh, yeah. Um, the,ドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドアドア
好きじゃなくて、うん、怖いのであまり見ることもないで実際に自分が、まあ、演じるという立場でこのドアに参加した時に本当に、えー、その怖さを克服しなければならなくて、うん、であの夫である監督高橋の方からももっと勇敢なあの表情で戦ってほしいと言われたり。Was, was not easy, and it meant actually having to overcome、uh, that kind of or the kind of fear inherent in the that、uh, the character is experiencing、um, as well, and kind of the fear of that situation. And during the shoot, she was often、um, told by director Takashi that、um, she should show more courage and overcome, kind of fight, fight stronger. あの夫婦として一緒に仕事をするのはどういうことなんでしょうかはい。もともと知り合ったのが監督と女優として知り合って、それから結婚したので、えー、もうその作品を撮るときには、女優と監督という立場で、その現場ではそういう気持ちに、うん、あのすぐなれるというのか。うんうん、結婚してるとか関係なく女優であり監督であり、うん、特にこ,この時はあの夫はホテルに泊まって私は洗濯物だけをもらって家に<笑>帰ってという,こう別々に暮らしてましたのであまりその夫婦ということは、まあ、二の次で監督と女優として接してました。うん So, actually, when they first met, they met simply as director and actress. And that was their initial relationship. So,、uh, after, even after getting married, once they were on set and working together, they would just simply return to that,、uh, to that kind of relationship. And everything else was blocked out just、um, regular on set director, actor. Uh, uh, re- relationship. And、um, for that reason as well, of course,、uh, at the time, director Takahashi didn't sleep at home.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but they could retain that kind of professional distance,、uh, in a sense, from each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. And、uh, recently in the Japanese movie industry, there has been a number of actresses、uh, spoke- speaking out about, you know,、uh, Mishandling from directors, the whole Me Too movement, it's also started in Japan. I wanted to hear her opinion about it and also if she had experiences, if she has ever experienced similar behaviors from other directors, I guess. Uh, 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 あのセットでいろいろな、まあえー、よくない扱いを経験するとか、うんうん、セクハラとかもあるし、はいはいえーまあ、それが今すごくあのパブリックな感じで、うんうんえー、まあ、えー、議論されてますけど、うんえー、高橋さんは、まあ、何か意見があるとか、ね、自分でもいろいろ見たことは、うんあるはずですので、はいはいえー、確かにあの私がデビューした頃もう52年前になりますけれど15歳だったので、えー、そうですね、うん
どうしても男性から見た女性を描くことが多くて、うん、あのなんでしょう本当は女性としての気持ちは違うんだけどなと思って演じたこともありましたし、うん、でもなかなかまだ10代だったので、うん、その男性社会というのかそこにこう意見を言えないようなこともありました、うん、でもでもその映画作りというのは、うん、それぞれのポジションのプロの監督含めスタッフの人たちもそれぞれ誇りを持って一つの作品に向かってると思うので、うん、うんそういう意味ではそのセクハラをされて嫌だったとかそういうことはなかったです。うん、ただその表現の描かれ方がちょっと一方的、うん、男性から見た女性の気持ちが50年前は多かったかな、うん、という気持ちはあります。うん Actually, she, she made her debut、uh, in acting 52 years ago、mm. at the age of 15.、Um, and can remember quite well that at the time,、um, uh, most directors were, were male, and、um, often、uh, she would act in a scene or in a, in a, a, a story. Um, in which she had, a, she had a strong feeling of dissonance in terms of, okay, this is actually just a male gaze and a male perspective on how、uh, you know, a woman would experience this situation or, or so. And that's actually not accurate at all. It's just a、um, kind of imposing a, a very male perspective. And yet, because of the power relationships, of course, on, on set that were also gendered, didn't feel like. She could speak up about it at the time when she was still very young, also.、Um, in terms of filmmaking uh, overall, um, her sense is that everyone is, of course, on set working very hard in their own way to realize、um, their own vision. So、uh, she never. Herself experienced something like sexual harassment on, on the film set or, or so, but she did definitely、um, at different times feel that、um, she was just realizing a kind of a, a very specific kind of perspective that was not her perspective. And, and that was, of course, a very gendered、uh, problem as well. <laughs> okay, okay. So,、uh... In the beginning of her career, as actually happens with all actors, is she was playing roles where she's like the beautiful woman, let's say the mistress or the, the lover. But as time passes, then she plays mother and then even grandmother. Is that transition difficult? And has she adapted to it, let's say? Um, だんだん変わってくるということで、はいはいはいまあ、最初はあの、えー、なんか、神秘的な美、高校生とか、神秘的な美人とか、はいはいあ,のえー、あとは、まあ、奥さんとか、お母さんとか、はい、おばあさん,おばあさんとか、<笑>はい、あのそういうあの流れがありますけど、はいまあはい、それにどういうふうに適応したか。かあ自分でどう思いましたか、はい、あのシフトしたシフトそうですねあのー、まあ人間生まれてね赤ちゃんの時から亡くなって、うん、こうあの世に行くまでって本当にいろんな時期があります若い時もお母さんになって子供育ててる時も、うん、おばあさんになって年老いて、うんえー、行く時も今あの、私、舞台をやっていますけれど、うん、91歳の役をやります。やって、もうすぐ初日を迎えますけど。なので、それはもう、あの人の、なんて言うんでしょう
生まれて変化していくものですよね。うんうんうん、だから常にその、うん、同じ状態を保つということはこれは無理,無理というか、うん、生きてるということは常に変化していくことだしそういう意味では女優の仕事というのは若い時も成熟した大人の女性も年老いた女性も演じることができるところに面白さを感じています、今は。今はでもあの、ある時はやっぱり、えー、自分が年取ってしまったということに<笑>こう顔のしわが気になったりいつまでも若くいたいと思ったりした時もありますけれども今はいろんなそういう、うん、91歳の役も演じるということを与えられたおかげで。その変化を楽しもうと思っています。うんはいえー、so, of course, it's a universal、um, mm. part of human life. We're born as babies and we age, and, and、um, uh, along the way, pass through many stages and, and many changes. So, uh, uh, it's, it's a long Journey and actually,、um, right now,、uh, Takashi san is, is playing, is, is acting in a play in which she's she plays a, a character who's 91 years old.、Mm. Um, so, uh, that's just a, a you know, change itself is such a part of life that, um, be it at, at a certain stage of being young or more mature. Or different kinds of social roles that, that come with that.、Um, now she finds, she looks back and finds that really interesting and finds exactly those shifts、um, quite interesting. And trying to, to understand and express those moments in life is something she finds very important as an actress.、Um, though, admittedly, at some points, there was a time when she kind of struggled with okay, now、I'm, I am growing older. Uh, and、um, <laughs> just the, the, everything that comes along with aging、um, was at, at a certain time kind of something she, she had to, to face and was a challenge. But looking back now, she finds actually it's really interesting to, to find what is important to express about each of those single moments and shifts in life. <laughs> and、uh, can she tell us a bit?、Um... Some of her favorite roles through the years, and also if there are some roles that、uh, she would have wanted to play but she didn't manage, let's say, or didn't happen. Ano, ima fri kaeru to ichiban ski na yaku, jiban ga enchitai ga arimas no de shoka. Eh, sore wa, eh, ichiban ski na yaku wa. 特にこれということはないです。うん、ないです。で、えー、今演じてることに今は集中しているので、えー、でも、このドアのように35年前の自分が本当に若かった時の自分を、またこう、今、もう68位になりましたけど、その若い時の自分をフィルムの中で見ることができるというのも、まあ、映画の面白さではあると思います。うん、so actually, it, she can't really pinpoint,、uh, it's very difficult to pinpoint a kind of favorite、uh, role.、Um, and generally,、uh, she's always focused on the, what she's currently. Acting, that's the, where all her attention goes and what, where all her energy、um, goes, and that she, what, what, what she's most invested in.、Um, but actually, looking at now, re watching a film like Door,、uh, and, and she mentioned she's now 68 years old, and looking now at this film and, and thinking about, about, wow, I was very young、uh, <laughs> at that time. That is part of、uh, the magic and of film and what makes it so interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, back in 2010, she won the Tanaka Kinuyo Award from the Mainichi 
uh, organization. Uh, can you tell us how she felt? In 2010? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah if I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, 2010年に田中紀の世を賞を受賞して、その時はどういう、どういう経験しましたああ、はい。とても、びっくりしましたし、光栄な賞をいただいたなと思って。<笑> 思いました。尊敬する女優さんでもありますし、監督もされてますしね。あの田中絹代賞というものをいただけて本当に思ってもみなかったことなのですごく嬉しかったし、まあそれに、でしょう、恥じないようにこれからも仕事したいなというふうには